An eloquent Biden brings the entire audience to tears in a debate stunner. The Secretary of Interior decks a smart-ass buffalo, and the nation did not see Mark Wahlberg's sex change coming. I'm standing right behind you as you watch this weekly news recap. Feel my cold breath on the back of your neck. I'm going to murder you. This is the Onion Week in Review. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg reportedly threw a raucous house party today after her 120-year-old parents left town to celebrate their 98th wedding anniversary. Sources say the 79-year-old justice, who texted all of her Supreme Court friends and everyone in the Justice Department about the, quote, classic RBG throwdown, reportedly provided hard liquor, beer, and jello shots, and even promised partygoers a spin in her parents' car. This party was fucking sick, man. We played flip cup, took body shots off Madeleine Albright's chest, and you wouldn't believe the weed all over the house, man. We throw some pretty sick bashes in the U.S. Court of Appeals, Fourth Circuit, but shit, this was on another level. Sources told reporters today that Mr. Autumn Man, Dennis Clemens, strolled down a local street earlier this morning wearing a sweater over a plaid collared shirt while cradling a cup of pumpkin-flavored coffee. The Duke of Fall, who enjoys Thanksgiving, butternut squash soup, homecoming parades, apple picking, and haunted hayrides, emerges reliably every year around this time in his traditional uniform, always sipping from his pumpkin spice latte. Nothing beats autumn in New England. Temperatures are dropping, leaves are changing, the air is so crisp. Tonight it's even supposed to get down below 30. Perfect weather for building a fire. Sources confirmed that come December, Sir Fall will put on his down jacket and face an early sunset that, quote, affects his mood, thus signaling the completion of his metamorphosis into Mr. Wintertime Asshole Man. In election news, Paul Ryan addressed a crowd of excited supporters this week by smiling and thumbs-upping his way through a question regarding the specificity of the Romney campaign's tax plan. Ryan, who has long smiled and thumbs-upped his way through difficult questions regarding his views on Medicare, Social Security, women's rights, and marriage equality, once again won over the crowd with his easygoing everyman charm while never once mentioning any specific details about his campaign's tax strategy. In other news, the hiring of a local moron gives the nation hope for employment. An outfit just screams police officer, and the seed of World War III is planted in a Beijing middle school gym class. Okay, that's enough. Get the hell out of here, kid. We can't have people hanging around when the video's not rolling. But for more, visit theonion.com newsbeat.